It's the middle of spring. The garden is full of life. And that is time to start pinching your trees. Now, why do we pinch trees? Why do we remove leaves? Why do we do this in spring? A couple of reasons. Let me show you. I'll go through my garden and show you on a couple of trees what to do and why. One of the reasons to pinch your trees in early spring is to balance out growth. A tree, in general, they want to grow up, they want to get tall, they want to get big. So what happens is that the top sprouts in your tree grow much faster than the bottom sprouts. Now by taking the tips in your tree and breaking them out, particularly in the top of your tree, you stop growth here in the top. With that, you stimulate the lower branches to grow faster. Aeonimus is one of those species that really needs a trim in early spring to stay ramified and not get too top heavy. Now, if you look carefully at this Aeonimus, you can see there's buds all over the tree. And that is a second reason why you might want to prune the tips of your branches. An Aeonimus doesn't have all that nice flowers. But some other trees have a very, very nice flower. This lilac is one of the species that has very, very nice flowers, but the leaves come out before the flowers start flowering. So removing the growing tips around the flowers will help you show the flowers much better once they actually do start to flower later this year. This Arakama maple shows a third reason why in spring you might want to remove the growing tips. I've not done this on this year, on this one, because I repotted this one. If you have repotted, it is sometimes wise to just let the tree grow, extend, because that stimulates the roots. But as a result, I now have very, very long internodes. Look at that. Ideally, I want to go towards sub-centimeter. So what I'll have to do later this year is prune this back all the way to the circumference that it was in fall. Then it will be sprout and grow a little bit slower. But pinching the tip in early spring, like that, will stop this from extending. But this is of course way too late. This is the moment that still makes a difference to pinch the growing tip out of a Japanese maple. You can just see the individual leaves and if you go in it, then there's a little growing tip. You grab that with your tweezers and flip it out. What you're left with is two tiny little leaves that will extend, but the internode will not grow any longer. Besides the internodes staying short, um, removing the growing tips also leads to a reduced growth rate and therefore the branches itself stay thinner, allowing for tighter ramification. Keep in mind that pinching out the growing tip slows down development of your tree. So only if you have a very nicely well ramified tree with branches that are quite thick, that is the time that you start pinching your tree. You don't do it with branches that you want to fatten up, extend, or when you're still building your trunk. This really is the last stage in bonsai refinement taking out the growing tips of your tree. This Chinese elm is starting to get to the point where the individual leaf starts to interfere with another and there it makes sense to remove the growing tips. Um, as I'm still trying to push these branches to get thicker, I'll let them extend a little bit and once they have six to eight leaves, I'll cut them back to two. If you look at this Japanese maple, you'll see it's a very thin trunk, slender with lots of movement. I don't want this trunk to get very fat and heavy. So I need to make sure that here in the top I remove all these growing tips and keep it nice, open and slender. Similarly, down below, here, I also don't want long extending branches. Something like this is getting way too big already. So this is going to go off completely. This is going to go off except for a few leaves. That way you stop the tree from getting fatter, keeping the nice slender image. So making sure that you remove the growing tips in early spring helps Retain a slender, thin image fitting to thin maple. Right, all back into shape. Doesn't this look a lot nicer now? Of course, if we had a little bit of sun to backlight it, that would be optimal because then the tree really comes to life with a golden glow. Oh well, it's cloudy. Or is it? Cornus has a tendency to grow very, very fast in spring, creating very rough growth, long stalks, and basically just ugly, thick branches. Removing all the growth in early spring 
increases ramification, back budding, and keeps the branches nice and thin. Do this in spring before the long canes start to form. Note it is not a matter of just removing all the growth that is there. I clip and I leave the base of the first two leaves. That way I have two buds here at the base of the leaves that will start sprouting. Um, this is a refinement technique. Don't do this on trees that need to develop thick branches because that will not happen. This is only for furthering ramification when you are happy with the thickness and the basic structure of your tree. On the inside, if you have some weaker shoots like this, you can naturally leave a few with leaves and branches that will not hamper the further development. All done. A further reason for removing leaves and branches is to make sure enough light enters inside the canopy. The sunlight that hits the bare branches or the young whips that are just forming on the inside will make sure that they survive and you have back budding and you can trim back later in the season. This is a key component if you want to keep your bonsai open and healthy growth inside in the tree. A lack of light is one of the main reasons why little branches on the inside die off. Uh, and I need to really take care on what I'm pruning because the top I want to keep and let grow wild, whereas the side branches lower down, I'm going to remove partially. I have decided that this has to become a new leader. There's a very heavy side branch here on the right and on the left, and I don't want those to grow out. So part of the process developing this will also be to prune back all the branches that come off. The side branches that are too heavy. These I can just look for the first leaves, trim back, trim back, and do this throughout the canopy. That way, this part gets a lot weaker in comparison to the new top. I want this to grow out to this level and create a whole new dome over it. But I can't leave all the top branches because they will start shading the rest of the tree. Now, if after removing the grown tips, you think there's still too much shading going on, you can remove individual leaves from each pair. The branch will stay alive, but you have less shading. This olive shows the two final reasons why you might want to remove leaves or branches or growing tips from a tree in early spring. An olive is an evergreen and an olive is reluctant to grow from the inner buds. By removing all the leaves from a branch, like so, you're triggering the tree into reviving all the dormant buds on the branch. Do this in very early spring before the tree is really starting to push and you will get back budding all along all these bare branches. The second reason, an olive is an evergreen, so the leaves are quite old. You can see at these leaves, they have suffered over winter and don't look old at one more. The looks are not so important, but what is more important they don't function all that well anymore. By removing the leaves, creating a new crop of leaves along the branches, you are getting more optimal growth because the new leaves work much better. Naturally, the question whether you mind that your tree looks like a bush most of the time is personal. Some people would keep this trimmed all the time, so it looks like bonsai all the time. For me, I don't mind growing out. I don't prune all that much.